for all of your Bravo friends out there, you need to check on them today. <laughs> Everyone who I have spoken to is in a little bit of a haze. Quite frankly, I texted my friend and said I might need a personal day today just to sit on all of the glory that was Scandaval last night. Todd, mm -hmm. I texted your sweet wife, happy mm -hmm. Scandaval day. Yeah, she told me. So tell me, I, I've got a lot of questions. Okay. I've got a lot. I got so many questions. This is the day that I have been waiting for. Not Scandal in and of itself. Amazing. Amazing. And Todd Quinones, hard hitting. You guys, when I tell you Todd is like a real journalist. Yeah. Todd coming in at 2 a.m. being like, did anyone listen to the NPR report this morning? And we're like, no, Todd. No one was listening to the NPR report at 2 a.m. Our real serious journalist, Todd Quinones, watching Bravo. Tell me all of your thoughts and feelings and emotions. Question number one is, how do I get that hour of my life back? Todd, <laughs> it was an hour 15, first of all. It was an hour 15, and I was very excited for the extra 15 minutes. You weren't into it at all? Uh, no, l listen, I, I'm, I'm kind of kidding. You know, obviously, uh, you, yeah, it was... I don't, it, it was, um, uh, the guy, Tom, right. It's my first time Tom. I've ever watched Vanderpump rules. So I'm sort of like trying to catch up and, and not disrupt my wife, Gosha and, and her enjoyment and try not to ask questions, you know, so you, I'm trying to be respectful. And so um, when I first saw him, I'm like, is he, is he trying to look like Anthony Kiedis from the, from the Chili Peppers? <laughs> like that? Yeah. That yeah. I can thought. see that now that you say you know, that. It's like, is he going to bust down his little California cation? But anyway, um, <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a lot to take in. It was a lot to take in. Um, I, I tell you what I liked the most about it, to be honest with you. Yes. I liked the way the girls, the women, uh, rallied around um, is Ariana, right? Ariana. Ariana. Mm -hmm. Ariana. I thought to You're me doing that, great. that You're seemed, doing great, Todd. <laughs> I thought that seemed endearing and real. Uh, and I thought, well, that's, that's a good it's a good aspect to see in this kind of television you know, program to see like they were generally concerned and generally there to help her. Right. I mean, is that, did I get, yes. did I read that? Yes. Right? Yes. I believe, listen, there were also a lot of, there was lots of rumblings online. Is this fake? It felt very real yesterday. Yeah. People, people felt people genuinely seemed shattered and heartbroken and angry and all the things. Although to Todd, I have to circle back really quickly. I appreciate you not asking too many questions. It would be the equivalent yeah. of someone sitting next to you during the Super Bowl and being like, so yeah, why so. did they, why, why are they throwing the ball? Like, no, nobody wants that. It's not the time. It's not the no, time. Not the right time. And you got to be on your own a little bit, right? But it was confusing because, okay, you know, you get the cast of characters like, okay, I got it. And then they do the flashbacks and then they're wearing different outfits and stuff. And then I'm like, wait, who is that the same? Is that the same woman? And then, or same guy. And then like they had, different hairstyles and, and they, different faces a little bit let's faces, be honest like when they're in their pajamas versus going out i'm like and i was like so i didn't have to i'm like to my wife I'm like is, was that is that her he's like yes i was like okay okay good <laughs> <laughs> i was also confused too because there was so much this is but we'll get into this later but it's like they were teasing the after show oh, and then they're yes. teasing the re the reunion and the reunion. And, what, yeah i was like what is going on like i don't know what, what's happening next so that but anyway getting back to um, yeah, it was genuine with the girls. I like to see that the guy, Tom doesn't seem to have a genuine bone in his body. I mean, he just kept seeing like, it's just, it was just like a classic, you know, narcissistic enterprise or exercise to try and blame others and to not take any blame and just own it. I mean, I think at one point he blamed mental health on the reason he didn't break up with her. He, the opening scene when he was like, normally I would delete a video like that. Normally when I cheat on my girlfriend on FaceTime having some sort of cyber sex, something, <laughs> something, normally I would delete that. He's saying that in the interview chair. That was a thought that he came up with in like a, in a calm setting. Yes, it it's was a really good point. That's a really good point. Normally, I would cover my tracks, 
but I'm taking some kind of weird stance and I <laughs> would not cover my tracks this time. It was busy. It was a busy week. I couldn't cover up my affair the way that I normally would. Yeah. You feel bad yeah. for me. Feel yeah. Ariana, I think at one point was like, he was mad at me, at yeah. me. They've been together right. for 10 years. She never wanted to get married. She bought a house with him. She never wanted to have children earlier this season, Todd. She was like, okay, I'll freeze my eggs if you want to, and if you want to fertilize them. Like, sat, when she was talking about, I would have done anything for you, like, she made, as, as you do in relationships, right? You make sacrifices. Yes. Right. You meet, your, you meet your significant other in the middle. Fine. But there were other episodes where he was like, I, I always, this was a line from like two episodes. He's like, I'm always the one stalking the pens and the batteries. <laughs> First of all, who is stalking pens and batteries in life? Um, they just appear. They just appear. Yeah, I. You know, it's it was it was it was, it was wild to watch it all unfold. Um, I haven't seen, like I said, this is my first episode I've ever watched. The last time I saw uh, Lisa Vanderpump is when she was on um, the other Housewives show yeah. with Kelsey Grammer's wife, like back the Housewives in Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yes, thank you very much. And so that was the last time I'd seen any of this. So. I, I was aware, of course, she had to, it was like this started with she had her own restaurant. These yes. were people that worked with her for, right? So I had a basic premise down. But, um, you know, watching it unfold like that in, in like catching this moment was kind of surreal because I just thought, you know, like we said before, the word vapid just, it's just sort of stuck in my, in my brain. And, and, and it was true for the guys, really, for Tom and, and his other friend Tom, right? This is Tom other and good Tom, friend yes. Tom. Who I do, I have some, some empathy. You know, like I get it. He's your boy. You know, you know that he's cheating, but he apparently is also close with the with Ariana. Yeah, she was a best man, brought groomsman in his wedding. Yeah. See, so you have, you know, it. It's not like you didn't know her or kind of would just met her through your friend or whatever. It was like you had her. He had a real relationship. Yes. You know, platonic relationship with her, and so. You know, he doesn't really get off either. Um, but the but the women, and I guess maybe this is where I'm coming at it, at it from like a, a almost like a, a stereotypical standpoint. Like you would expect these shows and you see a lot of it, like this sort of quote unquote cattiness. Yes. I didn't see any of that. Uh, and maybe that's a wrong, terrible assumption on my part. But I, I saw like a, a tenderness and and like they were like fiercely protecting him at, at the end. The one friend. I'm sorry, I don't know her name. Sheena, Sheena at the end, who was in the white hat, like sobbing and putting him in his place. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that was great. That was great. She's like, you leave. If you want to leave, you leave. leave. If she says no, don't leave. You walk out the door. You call the friends and we come and pick up the pieces. And like, basically, you know, be a man. And, I, a and man. I thought that was, that was really, you know, and that's like, that's true with all, you know, I think, relationships like that like be a man end the relationship and then if you want to go on go on but just do the right thing and i thought you know like the sort of the moral arc <laughs> if i could use those terms uh was really um upheld and supported uh almost exclusively by the women which was great um don't get me wrong and you gotta just call out the guys for being like weak um no backbone um, and, and having zero um, ethics or, or morals, really. I mean, that's you just got to call it what it is, right? I will say, though, James Kennedy, who you may not know, mm. the, he was he's like the younger, little British blonde guy. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Started off the seat like the the show. Not 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 the best, but okay. has come such a far away. And last night. When he was legitimately crying over not so he and um, Raquel, Rachel, whatever, were engaged. So he's very like has a connection with her, but he was crying over his lost friendship with Sandoval. He was he was like, how, like, I looked up to him. We were close. How could you how could you do this? And he was like, crying tears at the in the interview chair. And so he just made my heart. I was like, oh, that, he, that he was would, a little redemption for the men to me. 
Yeah, well, that was that, that's true. You're right, and that's a good point. Um, and that was one point where I was I was a little confused, and Gosha tried to give me the quick like he was once married with the other one, you know. And I was like, okay, you're supposed I, to feel sad right now. Yeah, right. I was like, why is this guy crying? I don't, I don't understand. Um, but you're right. That's he's a good like call. Twenty five, or he's maybe twenty nine. He's a kid. He's a kid, yeah. and everyone else is around forty. So he came on the scene like little brother want to be you know wants to play with them and they're they make fun of him yada yada so now he's kind of moving up and yeah your big brother just kind of banged your ex-fiance well no that's kind that's of what just day. happened that's a bad yeah. day yeah you know um you know there there was this point though in in the whole thing when and I, and I guess this is my problem too with all reality shows just getting back to the whole idea of sex is in streaming right and why i think what's hard for I'll say for me um, to get into any of this is like, what's real? What, how much of this is acting? How much of this is like someone's trying to, you know, amplify their persona because they want to totally go sell valid. soap, you know? And so that's, it's hard for me to get really uh, invested in any of these people as characters, because I just always have that in the back of the mind. Like, I don't really trust you. I don't trust what you're going through. Um, and the other thought is too, with uh, Ariana, um, absolutely, you know, did nothing wrong. And, and from what I can tell was, you know, uh, she, she conducted herself admirably in a really difficult, extraordinarily difficult situation and a commender for that. But then the other friend came back. And so I just need some clarity here. So did she steal this guy from her other friend? And You're then referring I was to like, Kristen. buckle up. So, and I was like, yeah. And I was like, you know what, you know, uh, it, it is, I'll just say this, right? Like, if maybe you lose I'm, I'm them how you get them, huh? You lose them how you get them. You lose them how you get them. Uh, a leopard doesn't change his spots or whatever. You know, like it, it's right. I don't know. There's... Yes. So Vanderpump. Let's go back. Let's go back in time. Vanderpump. <laughs> History lesson in store here. Sandoval and Kristen, who appeared yesterday, who hasn't been on the show in a while. Sandoval and Kristen had been dating for six years or so. Toxic relationship. Not making excuses, but. At one point, Kristen finds out that Sandoval made out with Ariana in the pool at the Golden Nugget. Shout out Vegas. Don't bring Vegas into Sandoval. But there you know, I, also, I love the Golden Nugget. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. That's all that was ever confirmed. But then it was like multiple years of Kristen being like, I know you did more. So... There was a battle, obviously, then Kristen hated Ariana. Years go on. Girls made up. They moved on. And it was a little, it was for, for Bravo fans, for Kristen to show up on Ariana's door after she, you know, Ariana was the other woman to Kristen for, for right. years in this world. And she was like, this was not the same. Like what he did to you was not the same as what he did to me. You were adults. You bought a house. You had a, like, you were. I think Ariana, she's like, we were life partners. Like, this is not, we're not, this is not child's play. We're not children, boyfriend, girlfriend. Are we going steady? Right. Um, yeah. And, and Kristen was like, no, this is not the same. And all the women, to be fair, everyone is very catty. It's lots of drama. <laughs> you did not get that because of the extreme situation. I, two of yeah. them were in an active fight during, during one of the episodes. I don't know if you clocked this, but. Uh, like, yeah, right. So they're they're going like, to put, put it aside. Put it aside. Yeah. It doesn't so there was matter. There was some like just in, in just in terms of, of speaking to, I guess, maybe the, the guys in this conversation or or the significant others who may not follow this and get into it. There was that was the redeeming thing about yes. the, the show. I was like, OK, you know, what? I could take that. And it wasn't just all cattiness and craziness and people posing for the camera and and all those things that I sort of always, you know, attach to these reality shows that, that just drive me up a wall. Um, but yeah, there was this now uh, th there's a whole reunion thing, which they sit down and it's like, am I the only one that sees the parallels to Jerry Springer and what they're doing? Like the only thing that's missing is God. the, is the bald guy to come in and break up the fighting. Like that's, that's what I, it is. Right. So first, I listen, I, I will give you the clip that they aired of Raquel walking across the stage in front yeah. of all of them was right. very Jerry Springer, but yeah. Give all the producers all the Emmys, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I want all of it. I want all of it. We haven't even talked about Raquel's. She was laughing and giggling. I was like, I wanted to know what it was like to make love to someone I love. What? 
And then she's like, I, I, it makes me nervous that you would cheat on your, your wife of nine yeah, years. You think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think he's going to do to you? I guess is my, is, you know, old, is the ultimate question. Like, you know, like again, you don't hate, I don't want to sit back and, and cast aspersions on Ariana and be like, Oh, well, you know, but now clearly there is, there is an established track track record. And they said there was another thing where uh, back Miami in the day girl. Were, yeah. before yeah. they were exclusive, whatever it was, but um, you know, so uh, yeah, I guess, you know, be warned going forward. And I don't know if they're still together or whatever. And I don't think I really care. Um, Rumors you know, are they broke up yesterday hours before the finale. So hours, listen, huh? in your defense, there are definitely <laughs> bits and pieces of them. Like what, you know, they have publicists at this point, right? The, the teams, apology tour. Yes, like, right. I'm, my team's talking to his team, talking to their team. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> That's not how server life works. I served tables for over a decade. I did yeah. not have a team. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Uh, I, he did. He had a history of cheating. I think. I think also when you're in love, for better or for worse, sometimes you sure. just. You're like, it, it's not going to happen to me. It's not going to happen to me. And you're going to make excuses. And, um, you know, I think at, at one point she was even saying, she's like, he was acting strangely, but not, I, I wasn't suspecting an eight month affair with my best friend. No, but she was um, like looking at his iPad and his location. So, you know, wh whatever. I mean, again, a you, woman knows. Don't, you, you don't go down that road of like blaming her. And it's like, she has no blame whatsoever. If you no. want to leave someone stand up and, and be a man or stand up and be a woman and say, I'm done. I'm leaving. I know this hurts you. I don't care. I'm, I'm out. Like that's when is do. there a good time? There is never going to be like, you know what? You seem like you should be broken up with today. You, you, it seems like you're ready for that's not a thing. That's <laughs> never happening. Are you in a good place? Great. Cause let I'm me ruin it for you. <laughs> What a bunch but, of nonsense. Yeah. Um, but <sighs> overall, though, I have to say, if if the guys out there or significant others, because we this is not just you know men and women, it's it's men and men, you know, women, women, and, and it's all the things, as you said. Um, if you have a, a partner who uh watches and you hate it with with like it makes you angry, like it does me. This was an episode where I could watch and if if it if my wife enjoyed it a little bit more because we got to enjoy it together, uh, then I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I don't need to watch the reunion episode. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm God, good. I could check back in another 13 be amazing. years. The reunion's going to be good. This is also crazy progress. Quite frankly, I'm going to walk it back. This is, we've made great progress. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for Gosha if she wants this because, you know, we've talked about this. Sometimes yeah. you don't really want the uh, you're going to ruin this for me. But right. you do sometimes also want a buddy like I want some some something insane is happening on television. I want someone else to witness it with me. Yes. So. Right. Yeah, it was good. to I listen I, I for all my hemming and hawing and I'm glad we're doing this and we're having fun and this is why we're doing it. Um, it's not that was not that big of a sacrifice. In fact, I'll go as far that as that big of a sacrifice. You so like that writing, rewriting huh? wedding vows over here. It wasn't <laughs> that big of a sacrifice. Uh, it was, uh, I can't say enjoyable, but it was, you know what? It was, uh, entertaining and, and yeah, it was entertaining. So do we have that? I'm going to count it as a win. <laughs>